Hello to all. Welcome to the session 8 of analyzing and visualizing data with Excel. I am Padmini Vasant. Dear students, I hope you have been practicing on the details which have been already covered under section 7 and other sessions. So let us start today very interesting module wherein we will be discussing in detail about the various formulas which can be used in using excel spreadsheet. Mind you dear students, these formulas can be used in any software consisting of spreadsheets. So let us start. So what is formula? So this standard operators usually include additions, subtractions, multiplications, division and exponents. Let us understand these with an example. Now if I want to add simply just like an, any other calculator, we can use the numerals. So it, it can be like equal to okay so whenever you want to activate any mathematical function in an excel spreadsheet in a cell you have to start using equal to or plus so equal to say 2 and plus 5 so and then enter you will get the answer so this spreadsheet can be used just like calculator similarly equal to 7 minus 5. So here I am showing you subtraction. Then multiplication equal to 2 into 2. And then division equal to 2 forward slash by 2. And this exponents and this character is called as caret. And this caret one can see above numeral 6 on the keys. So when you want to use anything which is above, so that is uh, sometimes what happens if you observe your keyboard, some keys have two instructions. So one is can be used as such, the other instruction has to be used by using shift key. So in the case of caret that is exponent, you have to use the shift key. So let us take it up. So equal to 2 exponent 2 that is 2 to the power of 2 that is nothing but 4. So in this way you can see my dear students, so I have showcased you the various operators which are, which can be used in an excel spreadsheet. Now let us work upon a simple task. So I have a menu order here and I need to calculate the total. So it is very simple equal to click upon the data where you have the price. So this is called as a cell reference. So this becomes B8 for the cell reference into, so into is a asterisk mark, yeah, then you have to also select the reference, cell reference that is C8 to calculate the quantity and just say enter. And if you observe because I have already formulated, formatted this with respect to the rupee symbol, hence the rupee symbol has come then just double click or drag it and you will you can no need to calculate again because in the case of excel if a formula has been initiated in one cell the same can be copied and then you can give total we have already learned that click upon auto sum and just say enter dear students i would like to discuss one important aspect here in a cell if the formula is there so let us understand what i am going to tell you suppose i have a six number i have just entered a numeral and i want to put a formula here okay just observe that suppose i copy i am using control c and just say enter the text is copied okay i am using control c and it is entered here if you observe the formula is copied so if in case I have a formula say for example equal to say this into 
this so this is a formula and i remove the text here okay so if you observe in a cell the precedence is given to formula rather than the text so you may delete a text or the information in a cell reference but the formula cannot be deleted now let us understand some more aspects in of the formula in excel so we need to understand what do you mean by cell reference this definition i had already discussed in my previous session let us understand that in detail okay dear students let us look at this data and we'll try to gather information using this aspects the first one being what do you mean by equal to a1 plus a2 so this is nothing but adding two cells a1 and a2 i'm going to highlight the cells for the ease of understanding with the color yellow okay so this is a1 and this cell is a2 so if any text or if you have to carry out this function a1 and a2 okay simply select suppose you want to give an answer in a6 equal to a1 plus a2 okay so if you observe and you can always check the workings and the command in the formula bar so this is called as formula bar and then just say enter okay so this is how the a1 plus a2 function looks like now let us go to the next one and this says c4 minus 3 so 3 is a numeral and c4 is a cell reference so let me mark again for ease of identification and i will do the function here so equal to click on c4 minus numeral 3 okay so this is c4 minus 3 how do we check whether we have done the correct function simply go to formula bar and recheck it then the next one is e7 divided by j4 so this is e7 and j4 and this is j4 so let me do it under j so equal to e7 forward slash j4 okay and then next you have n10 into 1.05 so this is n and i have the 10 here okay this is n10 so we can do the functionality here equal to n10 into 1.05 and that's it enter then the last one we have r5 to the raised to the power of 2 okay let me select r5 this is r5 so equal to r5 caret raised to power is also called as caret to the power 2 and enter okay so now the context here is to discuss the formulation the formulas are ready you just have to incorporate the figures you can see it will start acting like a software in auto mode so if i just say n10 into c we can automatically get the answer now let us discuss next operation so i have already shown you how to create a formula how to modify a formula simple so if you have a formula here say for example you have to just press f2 so in in some laptops it is function f2 or it is f2 so if i press function f2 and you can see the cursor gets activated i can change the formulation okay so you can enter maybe a data or a text and then edit the formula and this pointed click method this is nothing but terminology used 
when we select a self-reference with the help of the mouse. So, if I embed a formula, say for example, equal to and then I say 5 into 4. So, this is not a point and click method. But if I use the mouse equal to, so this, this self-reference into, so B48 into C48. This becomes using point and click method. And as usual, we can drag it, we get the data subsequently. Next, we shall discuss with an example, formulation of a complex formula. So here, if you observe, so this is the data which has been keyed in, wherein the Excel spreadsheet has to use board marks in order to arrive at the result. So you can just say enter it and you can see as the Excel is already having the software to apply board marks, hence we did not give it individually. So you can see uh, the complex data such as this has been calculated using the board mask formula. Coming to the last formula, so here we would like to learn about relative and absolute cell reference. Okay. Relative and absolute cell references behave differently when copied and filled to another cell. Relative reference changes when a formula is copied to another cell and absolute reference remains constant and the function which we use to make this constant is dollar. Now let us understand this with an example. Now say this is a tax component and here if you observe the rate is 8 percent. So the formula which I have to give is equal to open brackets because I have to get the price into quantity close brackets and then multiply it with the sales tax and then say enter. So here what is relative reference? Just observe if I copy to next cell the answer is wrong. Okay, Why so? Let me edit this formula. If you observe when I am copying or dragging the formula to next cell the Excel will automatically pick up the reference of the next cell. Hence, instead of, so this is E787, it has picked up E88 when I drag it. That is why the answer is coming as value is wrong because we have a text in the case of a numeral. So, if one can incorporate dollar sign and make the component stationary. So, I need E column and so I have a dollar signature sign in the keyboard and that you can find it above 4. So, you need to use shift and then say enter and you can drag the answer and the formula you can see we get the right text. So, you can press F2 and check and you can see that E87 is constant. This formula or this kind of reference is called as relative cell reference. Dear student, I would like to continue the details about absolute cell reference in the part 2 of this session. Thank you.